Hello everyone. This video is about my latest software. I have named it Odoo. Uh, this software, this is uh, the interface, and this software can do uh, any activity, any human activity on computer that we do, like uh, typing, scrolling, uh, clicking, dragging. Uh, so uh, this software can do everything uh, repetitively over and over. So um, this can be very handy in some cases where same action can be done repetitively with uh, no or little modification like uh, I need to use it uh, for copying my bank transactions uh, from email sent uh, by the bank. So um, I will show it uh, in action today. For display purpose I will do nothing much complicated. I will just uh, uh, create a Microsoft Word document. Let's name it test and um, here it is. Uh, I will type something to it and then save it and then close it. Okay, let's place it here. Okay, first to run it, you have to click on teach me and now it is recording. Now it will imitate everything I am doing here. Let's say type uh, hello uh, how are you and then enter otherwise every line will be one after another and then click on save button and then close okay now I have to stop it by clicking on stop button now the training is complete I can uh, now run this script uh, mm, uh, you see here are little uh, some options for little modifications uh, in each iterations like I uh, may need to mm, scroll it a little bit uh, for every iteration then I can check the increase scroll button or um, I can increase the drag also I can save the script here for later use mm, but remember for running the script now or for later everything on screen that Mm, during this training uh, time everything on the screen must be must need to be remain same otherwise it will click on uh, wrong positions or uh, something wrong will come up because it works on screen coordinates it maps the screen coordinates and records the click mouse movement drag and scroll and everything okay and here I can uh, provide the um, time gap between two iterations um, because uh, the, sorry the time gap uh, between two steps because uh, it may happen that after a click um, uh, it takes time to uh, open Microsoft Word or any other application it is uh, required sometimes to provide some gap between two steps so um, I'll provide it say one second and I will um, run it say three times and then click on this button do it for three times when I click it it will automatically open Microsoft Word and then oh, it uh, starts typing and then after it will uh, enter so okay then it's save and it will close again it will open it will do the same thing as I have done I needed to provide um, enter first because that would be fine otherwise uh, it will type first and then press enter as I have done but uh, the results are same there is no problem at all so it has done three times and it has saved and it is closed okay so here is the thing I can open it and remember 
when uh, I'm training and training this uh, it just forget last two clicks because after training is complete I need to click here to open it from the minimize condition and I need to click on stop button that uh, are not required this last two clicks are not required on each step so it just omits last two clicks so remembering that uh, do not uh, just uh, click um, uh, anywhere before stopping it because uh, if you click anywhere before stopping it it will just uh, forget last two clicks not any more click than that so just uh, when stopping it just click on the minimized um, uh, menu in uh, taskbar and then just click on stop no extra click and no less click than that well uh, and uh, one more thing about this software don't um, click on the same position same coordinate twice no matter how much give you are uh, no much and uh, no matter how much gap you are giving on two clicks it will automatically record it as a double click so uh, because it uh, unless i provide some uh, time gap between two steps it will not record the time gaps the human are providing uh, between each click so if i click two times here it will click very fast and it will open it like a mm, double click so if you want to make two clicks separately on the same icon my suggestion is one click here and then click here like this if you don't want to make it double click okay otherwise it will think uh, it's a double click unless you provide a time gap uh, between two steps well i think um, that's all about this software and uh, this button um, works as usual you can save it for later use you can um, clear the script uh, in between a train uh, training not in between a training uh, you have to clear it after stopping it uh, otherwise uh, it won't work as well um, after um, a teaching if you don't think uh, uh, it is uh, not expected so you can clear it or you can load a previously saved script but remember when loading previously loaded script previously saved script everything uh, from the previous time on screen must be same uh, because otherwise uh, it won't work properly so that's all thanks for watching